Hi, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome, welcome to this afternoon's career symposium um, put on by the academic arm of one and one. We are so happy to have you. We know that there are so many other things that you could be doing with your time, but you are here with us and we appreciate you. So we just want to say welcome, welcome, and we are expecting to have a fantastic afternoon. We're not gonna be keeping you long because we know you wanna relax and enjoy the rest of your evening. And we're so happy to have you that we really don't wanna spoil the show, all right? So we are gonna get right into this afternoon's proceedings. And uh, I will come back with a little bit more information uh, when we have, we have persons joining still at, and we're gonna be having that at various points. But what I want to do, I'll have to do it when we have a couple more persons on board. So we're going to start off first, kicking things off this afternoon with our team leader, Mrs. Chenille Bennett-Edwards, who is going to do an icebreaker for us. And trust me, this icebreaker, it comes with prizes. All right. So get ready. Get ready. Set. Go, Mrs. Ed Mrs. Edwards. Go ahead. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Let me just go ahead and share my screen. And if you look in the chat, I sent a link. So just go ahead and click on that link for me. Thank you. All right. So today, right, you'll be learning about different careers that have been emerging. And a few years back, nobody could have said to me that Mrs. Edwards, you're going to be the next virtual school principal. And I know a lot of you here probably would have not heard about a virtual school principal, but yes, I am the principal of an online school. You know, growing up, you hear about the doctors, the lawyers, the teachers, the, the nurses, right? But some of the careers you never hear about because they are not traditional careers so today you'll be learning about other careers that you can venture into right no speaking about careers i'm seeing the answers coming in <laughs> already speaking about careers that we don't know about right we are going to look into some other facts i call them fun facts that most people right, wouldn't know. So this introduction is called Bet You Didn't Know. So I'm seeing answers coming in. So let me just go ahead and see Jesus is God. Everybody knows Jesus is God. That's a fact, but everybody knows that. I'm a nurse in training. All right. Life is not, life is not a easy, I guess you wanted to say life is not an easy road. Yes, right. All of us know that. Let me um, kick it off and give you what I had in mind, right? In terms of facts that most people didn't know. So let me just put mine in, right? When I saw this one, I was, I was so surprised because I didn't know this one. Let me just type it in. You can make money online. It is impossible. Somebody said it is impossible. So, so I had this one in my mind. It is impossible for most people to lick their elbows. Trust me. I tried it. Uh, I tried it. You can't do it. If there's anyone online that can open your camera and lick your elbow so I can see, you'll get one of the prizes that we have for you tonight. So anyone here online that think that they can lick their elbow, Kate, I'm gonna need you to look out for me to see if you see anybody. All right, I Kate, will. Challenge, right? <laughs> anyone online that can lick their elbow, <laughs> not take a stick and lick your elbow, <laughs> right? <laughs> With the tongue. All right, you can become a coder. Let me see if I find some other fun facts that I had in mind. I bet most of you didn't know this one, right? A shrimp's heart is in its head. 
Most of you didn't know that one, I bet. A shrimp's heart is in its, in its head. So nobody, sloths can hold their breath longer than dolphins can by slowing their heart rates. Sluts can hold their breath for up to 40 minutes. I didn't know this, 40 minutes? I didn't know this. Anybody knows how long a human can hold their breath for before being pronounced legally dead? Anybody know? Trying to give away some prizes here, guys. Unmute your mics. Let me know. Anybody know? How long can a human go with the Somebody breathing? said three minutes. Three minutes? Who said that? <laughs> Tony. Tony said three minutes. It is. It is three minutes. All, All right. right. So <laughs> we have one <laughs> prize. One prize. Let me see if we have any. A snail can sleep for up to three years. I didn't know that one. I didn't oh. know that. Did you know there are 206 bones in the body? No, I didn't know that one either. So I guess nobody can nobody can um, use their tongue and lick their elbows. If there's no one here <laughs> that can use their tongue and lick their elbows, then the prize is going to Tony. <laughs> nobody. All right. So Kate, I think the prize is going to Tony. Oh Cause... my goodness. <laughs> Tony stand by. Yes, so congr <laughs> congratulations, Tony. And over to you, Kate. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tony. You are a winner. <laughs> awesome. 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 Oh my God. I'm trying to. Yeah. All right. So thank you so much, Prini. And that was our online principal, Mrs. Chanel Bennett Edwards. Of course, we are talking about um, careers that are upcoming and careers that are new. So of course, we kick things off with our online school principal, Madam Prini, Mrs. Edwards. Ew, wasn't that lovely? All right. So um, we have a few more persons online. So now I want to talk to you for just a minute or two. So this afternoon, we have invited you to attend a career symposium that we promise will be like no other. All right. And in this or on this platform, rather, we have a mix of individuals. We should have students, we should have parents, and we should have teachers. And if we have students on this platform right now, we want to know who we have. So if we have some students on the platform, I want you to just type up in your chat so we can know that you are students. All right. Oh, there we go. I get one already. Come on. Up, up, up. All right. Give me some. Whoa. Oh my goodness. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Miss D. <laughs> there we go. They're popping. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Now, let me tell you, I wanted to single out the students because I don't take my students for granted. You are the future, your tomorrow's leaders. You are the doctors, the lawyers, the nurses, and the other careers that are new and upcoming. And I don't want when tomorrow come, and you have tomorrow meaning future, and you see the space, you say, hmm, I mean, I'm not with she. Why you take care of me? So the nurses and the doctors that are coming up this afternoon, I want you to remember this face. So when you see me in the future, you say, yes, I remember Mrs. Farmer. Yeah, man, come in, miss. Let me take care of you. <laughs> All right. So you are special this afternoon because here it is. You are going to, if not already, um, at, a at a crossroads, rather. You're at a juncture in your life, you are going to, some of you sitting CXC and CAPE examinations, which means that you're going to be matriculating whether to universities or community colleges and uh, etc. Some of you will be going abroad to different institutions and some will not be going. And so we have a mixture of different kinds of students. And so I just want to say to you that you are in the right place. A lot of students, 
a lot of students don't understand that they can actually go to school and earn at the same time, helping mom and dad to pay your own school fee. We are about that this afternoon. So we are glad you are here. So up, welcome. And remember in the future, when you see me, the dentist, the nurse, the doctors, the lawyers, because you know, we when we get older, you know, or me really, I get younger. I'm in a real journey, the older passive business. <laughs> remember me, don't forget. Get me all right up one more time and thank you so much for participating awesome awesome so we go on now to the mothers and the fathers who may have who may be joining us are there any parents in the room i want you to just say top just type top in the chat if you're a parent in the room just type top 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 in the room any parents any parents in the room all right there we go Par oh yeah but with parents and with teachers then then we are the same map sometimes not true yeah man top 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 to our parents so we're glad you're here because um, we know that you know there are there are a lot of us who are facing difficulties as we get to this as this part of our lives where we now have to navigate and decide how we're gonna and what we're gonna you know how we're gonna get our students our children to the next level you know to the next leg of their journey in this thing called life and so it's him hello 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 to you all right so we we, we spoke to our superstars just now and that's what we we like to call them here at one and one and in specifically one academy we uh, we they are our superstars our students all right and so you are here this afternoon because we also want to help you you know, to, to sort of help to guide them as well as to help you do something more if you'd like to with your life and your time. All right. And so we're on to the teachers. Teachers, if you're in the house, I want you to just say something to me in the chat. You just decide. Because we are teaching and we are bully for words in our mouth. So my colleagues, I like to call you this afternoon. Just tell me something in the chat. Just say something to me in the chat. Teachers, where are you? Where I saw I love you, my love. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, man, keep it going. You know, I teach us. We're versatile, you know, we're one of a kind. And so we know we have whole of things on our belt and in our repertoire, not true. So we can chat anything and type anything. All right, awesome. Teacher in the house, yay, yay. <laughs> this afternoon, colleagues, I can call you colleague because I'm also a teacher. And uh, I know that we too are at a crossroad. We have just been in a fight <laughs> and we were bruised and battered, but we live to fight another day. All right. I know so much so that some of us ran away, <laughs> but hey, you know, it's not the end of the world. Some of us, um, unfortunately, will be moving on with our careers will be some of us will be going abroad to seek greener pastures there are some who will be leaving the career itself it happens it's just the reality it's a fact so you know there are persons who will be going in different directions just trying to figure things out just trying to ensure that we're we're making ends meet just trying to live a better standard of life and so there are different things that we're going to be doing with our lives and and teachers as well as everybody here you know a second gig it has become another thing the side of hustle has become another thing and there are persons who will be changing their career path you know and that's just the world that we the jamaica that we lived in that we live in at this time and so teachers especially for us a side hustle has become inevitable. We have to do more because what we have is just not enough. It just can't carry us, you know, the way we would like to. 
and, and we, I know we're not asking too much, but here we are this afternoon. We're going to delve into some new and emerging career opportunities that some of us will use as a side hustle, some of us will use, may, may move on to, you know, whatever it is. And so I'm happy you are here. And I just want to say another time, welcome, welcome to all of you. This is not a normal um, gathering. We have something to share with you that we are sure is going to impact your life. Students, when you move on years from now, you should remember this afternoon to say, hey, there was a little thing that I attended and it has changed my life. It has changed my perspective, you know, and I really appreciate it. So ladies and gentlemen, we, as I said earlier, I'm just looking for the intro for my speaker. I should have it in a few seconds here. Um, so we, we don't want to hold you for long this afternoon. We want to ensure that you're in, you, you can get out of here in a matter of moments and enjoy your afternoon. And so I am going to now be introducing you to our speaker this afternoon. Now let me just speak up my, um, my, 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 my device here and touch on my specs. <laughs> and read to you the man of the moment. So profile here for Mr. Jason Christian Delano Brown. Jason Brown is a man on a mission, a highly driven and motivated education change agent, leader, innovator, and forward thinker in the field of education and management. Acknowledged as a shortlisted nominee for the 2020 and the 2021 Prime Minister's National Youth Award for Excellence in Leadership and Youth Development. Jason is the holder of a Master's of Education degree in Educational Administration and a Bachelor's of Education degree in Information Technology and Computer Science with honors. Jason has moved through the ranks in the education arena, teacher, year supervisor, robotics faculty advisor, to program and curriculum management, and lecturing at the University of the Commonwealth Caribbean. Jason also served as the village director for the SOS Children's Village in Kingston, Jamaica. With a passion for educational administration and, and, and processes, and I beg your pardon, Jason seeks to equip existing and future educational practitioners with the right tools to impact teaching and learning in a dynamic way. He currently operates as the project manager for the One on One Educational Services Limited with the mandate of training and certifying 20,000 Jamaican youth ages 16 through to 20 years through the Careers Unlocked program. Jason is the organizer of the Secure the Job JA a youth development movement aimed at equipping young minds with the key tools to secure the job of their dreams. Philanthropically, he is a part of the Christian-based nonprofit organization, Live to Give Jamaica, where he strongly believes in giving back to the community and Jamaica at large. He also collaborates with his local church, on various community-driven initiatives. His drive comes from the mantra, there are lives to be touched, the work never ends. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our virtual hands together and welcome the man of the moment, Mr. Jason Brown. Thank you. What an introduction. Wow. The I energy is you. amazing in this room this afternoon. I love it. But thank you so much, <laughs> Mrs. Smith Palmer. Good evening, everyone. Good afternoon. Yes, evening. It is so good to be here. Um, thank you to the One Academy team for inviting me to be here to share this evening. I'm going to ask if you can hear us. Give me the thumbs up 
um, reaction. If you can hear me, just let me see the thumbs up really quickly before. Ah, there we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh huh. I see a Jason. Jason, big up yourself. Not be long today. Easy one, two, in and out, in and out. If you can see my screen, let me know. If you're seeing my screen, let me know. Let me check the chat. Are you seeing my screen? Yes. All right, Tony Shea, congrats on your prize for being able to lick your elbow. That is totally normal. That is totally normal, you know? And that's not weird at all. We celebrate everyone <laughs> and their different abilities. So we are here this evening, this afternoon, to speak about new and emerging careers. And you know, for the enough, when I was hearing my introduction a while ago, I was saying, you know, I had many jobs. I have had many jobs. So I think, you know, I am possibly the person to speak about this field because I have gone through it, I am living it. So, and I can tell you, it is something that you can do as well. So we have some key points this evening. We're gonna, look at, we're gonna be looking at short, shorter career paths, new career paths, emerging career path, and entrepreneurship, all right? So being the teacher I am, you know how teachers go, you have to start with breaking down what you're gonna be speaking about. So let's start with looking at what, who can tell me in the chat, if you can unmute, raise your hand, what is career? Who can tell me? Anybody? There might just be a prize. That tends to motivate persons. Are you gonna type? If you wanna speak, just raise your hand. I, I, I require interaction tonight, you know. So we're in this together. Anybody? A person's Googling the answer to put in the chat. Are we on Google right now? Find the answer. So while we get there, let's move into it. So a career, this is a profession. Oh, oh. Dejante, you may go ahead. I got that right, right? That's Dejante. Yes. Afternoon. You guys are doing good. How are you? I'm good, sir. I'm good. So yes. my idea, a career is a profession or let's say an occupation that someone uses to make money or to do what you do for a living. Hmm. All right, Joe. Thank you. Thank you so much. And your prize is wisdom. You know, you're going to inherit a lot of wisdom before you thank leave you, here. You. <laughs> we actually have a prize is a... for him, you know, Jason. Oh, we do. Ooh, we we have... Listen to me. We're not prize. joking. This afternoon, you know, man. Come on, you know, ahead, Everybody go. just look out for the links. We want you to fill in your information, Jason. We have a prize for him, man. We're yeah, going to link him up. Don't look worry at about that, it. Dijon, right? Do you get prize and of knowledge? Of course. <laughs> Trust me, we're just giving away tonight. So we tonight. want them we're to look away. out for the links to fill in their information as well, Jason. Thank you. Sure. No problem. So a career, as rightly stated, is a profession for which one trains or which is undertaken as a permanent calling. And that's coming from the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. So profession, train, permanent calling, okay? Career. So now we have to strike the balance between what is a career and what is a job. Cool? So quickly, a job may give you a steady pay short term, but a career gives you long-term financial security as it encourages you to develop your skills in continuing to learn to move up in your profession, in your career trajectory. So we're seeing here where your job or jobs can fall under your career path, okay? I said that for a reason, just stick with me. So we speak about the two. It's for you to decide. It's for you to decide because life is so dynamic. We have so much going on right now. The pandemic has shaped us, has taught us so many things. So has globalization, socialization. So we now have the option to do multiple things at many times. So when it comes on to career and jobs, the first charge I want to present to you is you decide what you want to do. 
Your future is ultimately in your hands. And the paths you take to get there is in your hands. So careers, careers. Why, why all this talk about careers? We're setting the foundation for us to build um, as we go along. So careers, we're looking at financial security. You know, the cost of living is very, as I, I, listen, let me tell you something, you see? If you can cherish your, your, your younger years, adulthood is very ghetto. I would not encourage anybody to want to try it or, or, or to rush it. It, it. it is so hard being an adult, but you know, it comes in the pros and the cons. It's, it's really a scam. It is. So careers for financial security, we're looking at long-term investment. Um, we're looking at professional growth. We're looking at life sustainability because there are things you want in life. You want the car, you want the house, you want to travel. You want to be able to afford the life that you want to live. You know, so, and it pushes you towards self-actualization. So by theory, we will never, they say that you have reached that level when you have passed on and there's nothing more for you to gain. But we do things to reach a level where we can continue to feel accomplished in life. If you're with me in the chat, just say with me. If you're with me, just say with me in the chat. Uh, one of my buddies here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love that. Awesome. So we're moving on. So careers, jobs. Where is that pop-up? Employment, occupation, career, jobs, work. And it's all pointing this way. But what is the this way? I can recall being the age of 16 and 16, 17 thereabouts. I had a plan for my life and I wanted to be an obstetrician. Lies. Let me tell the truth. And I say this to every school I go to. I always want to be a teacher. You see, from a born, I, I, my family had a lot of teachers. They were so happy. They seemed fulfilled. I wanted to be a teacher all my life. And that I would have said in every arena, every space leading up to high school. Grade seven, didn't waver. <laughs> Grade eight, in a way, but grade nine from, from summer. They didn't know that class, no, enough. So, you know, the introductions, it happens every year. Never change the students. You're going to come back from summer break, wherever break again, come from again for starting and see how it was. See about to introduce yourself in a new class. It never change. It's just life. So, we're doing introductions now, and everybody was standing up. I heard lawyer, I heard doctor, I heard um, pilot, I heard. Um, Content. I have so many big names, nurse, so many big names. And I'm there in my seats in the middle of the class thinking, so am I going to stand up and say, uh, a teacher? That not sound too festive. That not give. So we had a career book. And I opened the book and I saw obstetrician. So I saw obstetrics and gynecology. So I said, you know, my name is Jason Brown. I want to do obstetrics and gynecology. Did I know what it was about? I did not. But I said it. Because it's on rich. So they rich. When I went home and I Googled, yes, I had Google in my day. I saw it dealt with the, 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 the vagina and um, human gestation and delivering babies and baby care. So I said, but wait, still not so bad. It's still not so bad. <laughs> so, you know, I did the sciences. I passed them at CSEC at, um, at, at Unit 1 Cape, but I was still lost because... It was not what I wanted to do. It's what I thought sounded good and rich enough for me to want to do. And I had an identity crisis because I didn't know what I wanted to be. So I took a year off and that was where I was redirected to teaching, which is my first love. I say that to say, I know so many persons right here, you're, you're looking in life, you're seeing so many different avenues, you're here, people are projecting onto you, your family wants you to do this, you're looking at the money for this, you maybe don't know what you want and it's fine. It is fine. I am telling you, it is fine. You have time. All it requires you to do is to just take a step back and assess what you love to do and what you're passionate about. And then you build your life around that. So our career, we're moved in this way. So before we get into it, a quick check. So we're looking at the top, the 10 best jobs of 2023 as per CNBC. So Rick, who wants to guess in the chat one of these top jobs? Because we have prizes. If you can correctly guess a top job, hold on. Mm -hmm. All right. 
I'm waiting on a few more responses before I reveal the answers. Video editor, police, police officer, what? Social media influencer, engineer, data analyst. Mm. Anybody that's graphic designer, doctor, call, call center, lawyer, civil engineer, doctor. Uh, Chanel, your students are amazing. This has been Edwards. Your students are amazing. Every, I, I love this interaction. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Professional trader. Mm. Awesome. Teacher. Mm. <laughs> so let's get into it. Teacher. Yes. <laughs> so bank tell scammer. Oh, who is this? <laughs> F-R-B-S-H. Don't sorry, don't let me find you. Do not let me find you. We in this group uphold the legal earning of money. That's what we promote here. The legal earning of money. Body. And I must say, you're all saying wonderful things in the chat. So let's just review them really quickly. We have software developer. I'm sure I saw that. We have nurse practitioner. We have medical and health services manager. We also have a physician assistant. We have information security analyst. I saw that. We have physical therapist. We have financial manager. We have IT managers, web developer, and dentist. No, I know that some of what we were expecting to see, we did not see because the trend and trajectory of jobs in life are now evolving and changing as persons are delving into different methods. So, you know, some of the things that we hold so tradition to us, we're seeing some here. But some we are not seeing here because things and times are changing because life is dynamic. And I'm going to be dropping gems all here. Yes, that's true, um, Sir Smith or Miss Smith. My apologies, whichever one it lands on. That is a quote that is so true. But life is dynamic and I want us in all our pursuits to start thinking and being dynamic. So we're moving on. My time is going. So we have a man on a yellow path. And persons are looking, when you think about career, new, emerging, choosing, developing your craft, doing your thing, defying the odds. We are sometimes looking for that straight yellow road. And the truth is, all of the arrows, winding straight or not, they all lead to something ahead. So you have to be comfortable in your journey, knowing that the steps you will take will lead you to where you want to be. Enough of the motivation. Let's get into it. So now. We're looking at new and emerging career paths. So as I said before, I'm going to break them down into the shorter ones. Then we're going to go into the emerging ones, the, the digital ones, entrepreneurship, and we're going to get into all of it. So what I have here is a representation of the jobs. It's not the full slate of jobs. And I tried my best to align each job, each course, each skill to a local place, um, a local institution in Jamaica where you can go visit or learn more about that skill to develop your life as you move along. So you can please pay attention to all that's being said. Content creator, love that. And we will speak about that too. So we're going to start the traditional path as we're used to it. You know, you have your primary education from basic school coming up. You do your, your, your GSAT or your PEP secondary for some persons after CSEC or before CSEC life happens so they have to work other persons or some persons work to fund tertiary some persons go from secondary to tertiary and after that we work and we continue with our education as we seek to be developed mermaid this is not the little mermaid Shamila so I would encourage you to please wake up my dear please wake up <laughs> well unless you want to be a Mermaid at Disney for the shows. You're probably onto something, you know. You're probably onto something. You can be a mermaid. Anything you want to be, you can achieve. I believe in you. I really do. Go and be the best mermaid you want to be. But if you're going to work at Disney, I will take free tickets. The Lord bless you. Thank you so much. So now, moving on. Reality check. Reality check. Reality check. Things and times are changing. Young adults want jobs earlier. They want better. So nobody no want no bag or no filing or, you know, cashier. Persons want better quality jobs 
to a younger age. And they have entrepreneurial pursuits. So persons want to do things, be their own boss, to make money. Cool? So we're going to start with talking about the shorter career paths. And these career paths are as a result of training programs, certificate courses, postgraduate diplomas, and the growing demand for skilled-based workers, both locally and internationally. So these skills would see people working in Jamaica and overseas. All right. So the first one, money. I had to put this in here because the reason why persons do this is because they want to make more money in different currencies, wherever you will land in life. And you have some persons who do it because it gives them meaning. So they're purpose-driven. So there are many different reasons why. The money and purpose. And they should align. They should align. They should align. Come here, I tell you, you can be making money all your life. You know? You can be making all, money all your life. It does not leave you happy. So as much as you can, try to align your career, your jobs with your purpose. And you love it every single day. So let's go. The first one is certified nursing assistants. This is a top trending career or job path that does not see a person staying in the classroom or in training for the average degree time or the average um, school course time. So it's, it's, it, it spans between say nine to 12 months, sometimes a year and a half to be a certified nursing assistant. Now this job, these are high demand High demand, sorry, given the increasing needs of the aging population. And it's a case now where persons are willing to pay more to have the CNAs to meet their every need because as they get older in life, they want to be more comfortable. When Canada with the public health care line, all of that. So you have persons who want persons to reside in their homes, and you have younger persons who are paying for these assistance to take care of their parents. And it brings fulfillment if you're a people person. The turnover financially is great. The CNA work in nursing homes, assisted living facilities, hospitals, private homes, and residential treatment centers. So they support the efforts of the professional staff by observing, reporting, and monitoring changes of their patients in the comfort of their own home. And they also help to navigate their daily activities, such as eating, dressing, bathing. Before my grandmother passed, we had one and the person was the amazing sent from heaven. And the person took joy in knowing that they were having another life and they were able to sustain their living with what they charged. So persons who are interested in being CNAs or going along that path, um, we have training at the Nursing Council of Jamaica, also the Institute of Applied Health Jamaica, and also the Portmore Community College offers short courses the persons who want to be CNA, CNAs, sorry. And let me say, I went back to saying you have to be dynamic. So you can be a graphic designer and be a CNA. You can be a business owner and be a CNA because there is no rule that says you can have to stick to one thing in 2023. No, everything you want to do, everything you want to achieve, Nobody is stopping you but yourself. So you have the liberty and the leverage to go and do it. I have multiple jobs. I have my nine to five. I do contractual jobs. I do speaking engagements. I do hosting. I do consultation. There's so much I do that falls along my career umbrella. And it all brings me fulfillment because I am meeting my needs in life. Next, we have the massage therapist. Persons will not expect to see this one, but it's a growing and high demand job. Career path because person listen, people all of them stressed, people stress them, stress them, stressed. And when they are stressed, their body says that they are stretched as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my spa trends care so massage therapists. These are persons that manipulate muscles and soft tissues of clients to relieve pain, reduce stress, and to increase relaxation. You have many companies right now who are trying to contract these persons to provide services to their employees. They have persons after them leave work. They have persons who do regular spa treatments. I am a person who loves to do regular spa treatments, whether it be going to the facility or having a personal masseuse who comes to my home to give the services here. So they advise persons how to reduce stress, muscular tension, and how to achieve greater relaxation. And this can be a private practice. You can work with chiropractors and in hospitals, spas, fitness center. My mother did 
a, a total knee replacement last year, August, on her left knee. Total knee replacement, meaning she was inoperable, couldn't walk, had to learn to walk and do everything all over again. And we had to hire a massage therapist for her. And you see what that person charged per session? I have to do two to three sessions per week. Listen now, may I tell you? I am telling you, it's the same, yes. Yes, Tanisha, that's the, that's the program that Fort Moore Community College affords. So this is a growing trend that sees persons doing it, some of them in their after work, during work periods, because they spend time and their clients to capitalize. So this is something you can look into as well. For trading, we have the Beauty Institute of Jamaica. We also have the Heart NSTA Trust. They offer certificate courses in this, in, in massage therapy. Next, we have professional trainers. If it's ever a time where persons are body conscious, everybody wants a good body, everybody wants a good gym, everybody wants abs, everybody wants to live healthily, it is no. So the demand for personal trainers, and again, we're speaking about the jobs that you are not so awful with hearing about, and you probably have never given thought to. Personal trainers. So these persons now are the persons who design and they deliver fitness programs for clients. They develop routines to optimize aerobic conditioning, flexibility, muscular strength, and they promote services to maintain a viable income by promoting healthy living. So you have these persons in your gym. You have these persons um, hired to schools, to organizations. You have these persons working with the Ministry of Health. And who can guess in the chat the average price a personal trainer, the average price a personal trainer charges in Jamaica for their services per month. Also, we have the clarity. So the CNAs and the, ger the, the general practitioner, the, sorry, and the geriatric, um, they specialize in the same, the same age demographic, but the work is slightly different. So there are similarities, but differences between the two. I stand corrected. 30K, 25K. Yeah, listen, yeah, hey, see there? Uno no, uno no, uno no, uno no. So I pay my trainer 16,008 a month. Yeah. So if my trainer has 10 clients that he works with between the hours of 5 a.m. and 8 a.m., Aside from his 95, whether it be in office or owning his own business, look at that turnover. And especially when you get to high periods, carnival season, summertime, Christmas time, you have persons flocking, wanting the train because persons are doing all that they can. Yeah, man, they're doing all that they can to relieve stress and to be in a good space, especially coming from the pandemic. It's no longer about working out to look good. It's about feeling good as well. So these things we have not given thought to. So they provide um, work in the private homes, community-based gyms, fitness facilities, corporates in resorts, and they have to be certified. They have to do an exam. They have to assess their skills as well. So a, a big training ground in Jamaica is GC Foster College. And this, I believe, is a, a six to nine month course. Yes. So Richard, look at that. We're moving on. So now physical therapy aids. So physical therapy aids, they provide support to physical therapists and physical therapy assistants. So they help to arrange equipment and prepare clients for procedures. So they greet patients and they look about their appointments. They also help them in and out of treatment areas and they reinforce treatment protocols. So, and the training for this is three to 12 months. So these are all things that you can juggle and look into as you move along. Again, GC Foster, Foster College, the Caribbean Polytechnic Institute, the Management of Institute for National Development, all these bodies train and certifies persons who want to do this. And lastly, graphic, this, graphic design. This is a craft where professionals create visual content to communicate messages by applying visual hierarchy and page layout techniques. They use typography and pictures to meet the needs and let, we can talk about this. We can speak about uh, Canva. Here you come. We can speak about this because graphics are so integral in the way we do and operate. Listen, I am not somebody who eats KFC. Do not come at me. Don't come at me. I am Jamaican. I don't like KFC. I have my reasons. But every time I see the adverts 
every time I see that spicy zinger looking at me, whether it be on the TV or on the billboard, I am tempted to go and get it. And that is the work of a graphic designer. And persons are paid much for that because companies know they want their business and the services to be translated into a, in, in, a, in a dynamic way where it appeals to persons' emotions. So we're talking about from flyers. We're talking about um, we're talking about uh, we're talking about um, cards. We're talking about so many different things. Give me one second, please, everyone. Give me one second. While our speaker takes a moment, we want you to check the chat. We are sending some links. We want, we're going to be offering you an attendance cert, people, attendance certificate. I know teachers, you can use this, um, you know, to add to your, to add to your, your all your cert that you already have. It can yeah, be a please. part of your, of your stash. I know it can become very useful. Um, we are now in the in the day and age where we are doing something that the ministry has asked us to do. What's it called again, teachers? E-portfolio. All right, e-portfolio. So we're going to be giving you a certificate of attendance. So please fill in the Google form. We also have another link that we're going to be sending for you to just send a small survey, just to, just to tell us how this was and if you enjoyed it and what, what can we do going forward. So we appreciate it and we thank you. Jason, are you... Are you back as yet? Yes, I am back. Right, my apologies. My, my, my host alarm went off, so I had to go and de-arm it. Not I'm a problem. So sorry. Not a problem. Yes. <laughs> so for training for this, we have the Edna Malik, Edna Malik College sorry, of the Performing Arts. We have the Vital Technology Institute. We have UCC. And we have Gomex Institute of Technology. So if you're with me, say with me in the chat, please. I'm waiting for those with me. Let me see them. Yes, with me, with me. Yes, lovely, we're still here, good. So now we're moving on to GSS, which is our program I work with at One on One and it's the global services sector. So the GSS project is a five-year project funded by the Inter-American Bank that seeks to provide Jamaicans with training to offer jobs in the sector. So we speak about KPOs, ITOs, BPOs, call center, this, is an avenue you can take to be certified to access jobs in that area. Cool? So we have ITO, KPO, BPO. So this, this, this body, this project certifies Jamaican youth through a quick training or online training program. It allows you to assess your career skills and it maps you to a job and they help you find a job interview for the job and placed in that job. So this is like a whole career hub right here in Jamaica. And the link is right there. It is www.gssjamaica.com. And you can register with them. They will screen you online. They will assign somebody to work with you for recruitment, deal with your resumes, your cover letters, interview prep, all of that. All, all, all of that. And they will help you get situated in a job right here in Jamaica. All right. So, so the specific program that we have is closing in March. Yes. But the work continues with GSS. So the program ends next week. Persons can join at any time through this website to be inculcated in their program. All right. So now the top best creative skill jobs. So let's go back to the drawing board. I want to see in the chat persons who can guess the top 10 best creative skills job of 2023 so far, based on their trend from 2022 and the recommendation. Let me see them in the chat. So we're talking about the engineer. Okay, who else? Musicians, content creator, mm -hmm. electrical in uh -huh. financial manager. Yes, animation, photography, lovely. Oh, chef, yes, love that. Social media specialists, awesome, awesome, awesome results. Love them. So let's get into it. So we have creative director. We have social media manager. I saw that. We have content creator. I saw that too. We have graphic designer. I saw that. We have animator. I saw that too. We have user experience designer. We have user interface designer. We have copywriter. We have podcast producer. And we have 
digital marketing manager. He was surprised to see the podcast producer. But it's a case where persons are tapping into that avenue a lot and they want persons to produce and work on their content with doing minimum work on their end. So again, guys, we are seeing that some of these things that we love to watch on YouTube and listen to, they are actually growing skills that we can tap into because they are changing the face of what traditional careers look like. Good job, everybody. Clap yourselves. So now we're looking at new career paths and new, you know, it is new based on the trend. Some of them would have been aligned to other jobs or a feature of other jobs, but because of the way the world has evolved, they are now charting a path and these are evolving new careers. The first one that we have is augmented reality developer. Mm -hmm. Augmented reality developer. So did you know that the infamous Pokemon Go game was an, was an April Fool's joke? went on to make an insane amount of money we're talking about billions as of 2022 total revenue is over six billion us dollars for that pokemon game pokemon i grew up drawing pokemons in my book in mm -hmm. prep school not knowing that this would become such a lucrative career path so many persons. So augmented reality developer is one of the top new one career paths happening right now. Somebody's unmuted. Yes. So the reason for the success was it was entirely innovated for the mobile gaming world. Combining a franchise that millennials grew up with and augmented reality was a master stroke. So it changed the face of gaming at such a new bar. So no. Persons, it is now in fashion. It is now in reality wardrobes where you can try on clothes from your home. It is now in Amazon where I'm shopping and I can literally put things that I see on Amazon in my room and see how it looks, how it goes with the color scheme. Yes, so augmented reality is something that companies are going heavily towards and they need persons who are able to do the job. So that is one you can look into. Yes, we also have content creator. Content creator. So there was a huge undeniable boom in content creators over the past five years. But what exactly is a content creator? So it's a broad term that captures anyone who creates content for digital channels. Yes. And the most famous one that we know is a social media influencer. Yeah. Cool. So we have content being consumed daily. Daily, 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 and especially during the pandemic, we have seen an increase, especially here in the Jamaican context. Who can identify some of the content creators you see on the screen? Who do you know? Who can you recognize? Julie Mango. All right, there we go. Julie, who else? Auntie Dana. Auntie Dana, Tanania. Basilia Koh. Rushkiam. Rushkiam. Mr. B. And yes, wait. the Michelle. Michelle, Mr. Yeah, done, done. Mr. Who? Beast. How oh, are him there? Carry him boy, I think. Oh, Mr. Tings. And then our... oh. Yes, yes, Bye. yes. The Mitch. Yeah, yeah, oh no, they man. So these persons would have made a career path for themselves, some of them before the pandemic. Some of them really grew to fame and stardom in the pandemic, offering us a relief from the realities of life by giving us insight into their life. It's a case right now where the Mitchells, they met, they're not for sing no more song. We have seen their lives transform. We have literally seen their income raising. We have seen it in the very space that they operate in their very home, where we have it being sponsored by companies to provide services to outfit their kitchen, their bathroom, their living room, and they promote and persons, you know, go and get this thing. So these are persons who are just sharing their life, who are entertaining on YouTube, on Twitter, on, on, on whichever outcome, at whichever avenues, and they are doing a great job. And there is space for Every, Julie Mango just start, just was start doing some Jamaican skits during the pandemic. And look how she has blown up. Look how she has blown up. Boise, 
has ventured from content creating into music. So has um, Lidge. Kareem started with a podcast on YouTube and now he has his own radio show. Auntie Donna is out there helping the nations, helping persons send them to school, sending giving persons um, stuff to build their homes. You know, Tanya is out there doing it from entrepreneurship to content creating. And there is nothing wrong with finding a feel in this lane because there is a space in media for everyone. And whatever you want to speak about, there's a target audience there for you. Next, we have virtual reality jobs. So if we had to choose our, our industry that's gonna be booming in the next few decades, it's virtual reality. So the latest statistics show that the global market size for AR and VR is forecasted to reach about 296.9 billion in 2024, compared to the market size of 30.7 billion in 2021. That is almost a tenfold increase. So with the, in, with, with the announcement of the metaverse, which we have so many persons, we have had, I think, two metaverse um, showings or, or, or functions being held in the metaverse here in Jamaica last year. It, it, it connects reality to the real world, you know? And we have person using VR headsets you now to attend events, to go to concerts, to play games. And yes, they are not related. Basile and Julie Manga, they are not related. So we're seeing where virtual reality is now taking over the space and persons are needed to be in this field. So from marketing departments to game video developers, virtual reality is going to be the cornerstone moment for the job market and the whole society. If you have persons who can go to um, virtual concerts with, 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 with the VR headsets and enjoy themselves that like they were in Paris or Milan or Europe, come on. Things and times are moving and we have to move with them. So now for emerging careers, I have about 10 more minutes. I won't be long, if so much. Emerging careers. The first one is mental health jobs. I know someone I mentioned that in the chat earlier, meant, believe it or not, Mental health jobs are booming right now because we, we live in a world you know, where everyone wants to prioritize their mental health and nobody not, ain't nothing gonna crap my style. The prime minister was singing about in parliament that nobody not gonna slow him down. He has to keep on moving. Companies now have mental health days. I know my brother works for a company and they are allotted one mental health day per month. So we have so many persons and jobs coming to cater to persons with mental health issues. So. Many persons are working harder to reduce the stigma associated with mental health problems, opening doors for persons to seek help and access to services. And these persons are not going anywhere because we're seeing here where persons are really prioritizing their mental health from staff bonding to staff retreats. You have these persons who are planning activities solely based on increasing the, the, the mental health levels to a nice comfortable, positive space for everyone. You know, you see it there? There we go, Shanila, Shamila, sorry, there we go. You're right there. We also have project management. Pro I, that's what I do, project management. So about 89% of organizations now have at least one project management office and 50 have more than one. And this goes to show that project managers add tremendous value to any organization, making sure all resources are utilized in the most efficient way. So back in the day, you normally have the HR persons managing projects, but the role of a project manager is a mix of persons who like people management, technical troubleshooting, leadership, and planning. And we're seeing where we have hybrid events, we have face-to-face -face events. So whether it be concerts, to, to, to stagings, to virtual symposiums, to, to staff awards, a dream weekend, parties, all of these things are managed by a project manager. And once you're having events, once there is money to spend to do events to a certain quality, there's going to be a need for project managers. So if you're very tidy, if you're very meticulous, if you love people, if you're good with resources, this may very well just be an avenue for you. Yeah. Yeah. So this one, 
is the one that I am most excited about because I want to do it, especially with the recent announcement from the government about the heart services, cake decorating. So who would know that a cake decorator is an emerging job? Who thought about that? I was surprised to see this one in doing my research. But may I tell you, and you know, when I thought about it, may I say it makes sense because it gone other days where persons want to look at price smart cake and like a sugar and spice cake. Them nice, you know, but persons want the fancy looking cakes. Do you know how many person, how many money persons spend on those cakes? I am yes, Dujanti. I watch them all the time on TikTok. I have this one person who I have who I follow, and I am in art. Like, them build cake or look like man and house and car and sneakers and persons want these cakes and these cakes cost a pretty penny trust me imagine you charging twenty five thousand for a specific cake and you have an order every day for the week that's 25 times seven you know for that week you know so the cake decorator Customize cakes and other baked goods for their customers. Um, the daily tasks include checking the quality of ingredients, preparing equipment, and baking. So it's a project, actually. So you meet with your person. They tell you what they want. You look at the different types of things you can apply. You price, you bake, you give. And cake decorating is something you can do on the side. So you can be a doctor and be a cake decorator. I bake cheesecakes. I bake cheesecake stuff. I bake chocolate chip stuff cookies. I did all of it in the pandemic because I had to survive. And I'm telling you, it's a viable option and persons are paying money for these cakes. So look, look about it. Think about it. We're talking about emerging. We're talking about diversifying. We're talking about being dynamic. And these are all things that require training that you can tap into to do. And we're going to talk about entrepreneurship really quickly. So with entrepreneurship, we have the young market. They are bypassing the traditional labor market. To young people, I say, listen, I'll probably work for you for one year. After the one year, I'm going to be my own boss. So we have a lot more young persons who are venturing out and being their own boss, having their side hustles. You have many persons who are in jobs, who have businesses. You have many persons who are working for persons, but they're still hiring persons. Yeah. So we're seeing now where the, the entrepreneurship drive is moving. You have so many young entrepreneurs from graphic designers to lip gloss makers to, to content creators to persons who sell what, printed water bottles, persons who provide merch services. You have persons who do SBAs. This, them something what your teachers don't want to hear about. You have persons who provide SBA services. You have persons who provide project services. Teachers, please cover your ears. But they don't, they don't all do it. They don't all do it. I'm just saying it from now. They pay someone to do it. It's just a reality. Hello, you know. I speak the truth, but that is what it is. So we have persons who are pushing and going into entrepreneurship. So with entrepreneurship, you get to develop your skills. You build a business, a real build a business around your desired lifestyle. You generate sustainable income. You're your own boss. You get to positively impact your community by growing your business and hiring persons, and you promote social change. Now, let me say, not all persons are set out to be entrepreneurs, but if you have a drive to do that, and if you find your niche, if you find your niche and you can capitalize on it, that is great for you as well. But, <laughs> but entrepreneurs are needed and services are, yes, I encourage you, please do your own SBA, do your own, you see, I am saying the politically correct thing. Do your own SBA. Can somebody clap me, please? I am being politically correct. I want to feel encouraged. Can I please see some claps for me? Thank you. Thank you. Wait, nobody's clapping me? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, man, there we go. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So with entrepreneurship, no, we have 66% of current and aspiring entrepreneurs are men. 31 are female. So in 2021, it represents a growth of, from 2022, from, in 2021, we saw a growth from 2020 where only 27% of current and aspiring entrepreneurs were female. So right now we have 5.9 million entrepreneurs and business owners who are under the age of 35. 
So we're seeing where young persons are thriving more. They want to be their own boss. They want debt or rules. So once you have the knowledge, once you can have the team, once you understand the risk, once you can be assertive, entrepreneurship is possibly for you. And we have, you can get your degree in entrepreneurship. The schools in Jamaica offer a degree in that to help you with the processes. Once you can find your niche and there is a need for that niche, go out, do it, be great, make the money, pay your taxes. Make the money, pay your taxes. They will find you. They will find you. Yes. So, no. So for training, for all I have mentioned here, I'm giving you a list of online places you can access to get certified in these courses, whether it be free or a small charge. So we have Spot Academy, we have Skillshare, we have a course owner. Is it linked? Is the number for LinkedIn? LinkedIn is a very, very important tool for career development. If you're a young person and you don't have a LinkedIn account, please. Go and do so. You network with persons. You get to pick their mind. You get to align yourself with persons who are doing things in your area. And you speak to professionals in real time. They have free courses there. They have paid courses. It's a great way to develop your professional self. We have Google Digital Gar Garage. We have Super High. And we have Allison.com. So, no, I could not leave this platform without speaking about the service of the persons who would have hosted this event. So now that we have spoken about the careers and the different paths, we have to realize that we have to fuel our careers. Somebody type, fuel your career. Type it in the chat for me, please. Let me see, fuel your career. Let me see that in the chat. Fuel, there we go, there we go. We have to know how to fuel our career. And how do we do that at this level? We start by enrolling at One Academy. You know? And this is a good way to tell first about the good thing that we have going on right here. So this is a, it's a personalized online learning platform that allows Caribbean students from primary to high school to study, live in high school to study, to, to immerse themselves in content, live or on demand, stuff for that type of. So it's a case where you have to understand to get what you have to do, to get where you have to go, sorry, you have to do what you have to do. So you can't flunk your courses, you can't drop out of school, you can't invest in your education and expect to reap the benefits. So this is a way that you can conveniently prepare yourselves adequately to get all that you want educationally to move on and reap those benefits. So with One Academy now, focus targets, they, they, they offer self-paced learning, personal online tutor services, and online extra classes. So One Academy for students, you have access to over 300 plus video lectures, eight subjects, 40 lessons per subject. You have end of chapter quizzes. You have video lectures, self-paced learning, sorry mobile and tablet access, and the full curriculum. Online extra classes, they're gamified. So every, you have, and for all extra classes, you get the test paper and the solution, the practice paper and solution. And our classes are gamified, so it's not boring. It is fun. And we also have Yuna, which is our very own AI assistant. So it is right here. So anything you want to do to troubleshoot, to ask, to get insights about, you can do that all here on One Academy. So if you are a part, that is amazing. If you want to be a part, sign up today. If you love it, share with your friends. Don't be selfish. Invite many persons to come on as we learn how to fuel your careers to get where we want to get. And I end every presentation with the same thing. Greatness is always the order of the day. Anything you believe, you can achieve. But it starts with believing that you are great. So in the chat, I want to hear everybody type, I, in caps, I am great. Come on, we're going to declare it in the chat. I am great. You see, once you understand and you believe that greatness, there is no one or nothing that can stop you in your pursuit to do all that you can do. And we are here 
the One Academy team is here to tell you that you have a, a, a vast um, array of options in front of you. And all you have to do is take the time to learn yourself, learn what you're passionate about and do it. So whether it is you're trying to develop a career path, go ahead and commit to it. Whether you want to change it, be bold enough to change. If you want to diversify, go ahead, diversify. If you want to juggle multiple, once you can do it, juggle the multi multiple, but never forget that there is nobody as great as you. The references are here that I got my data from. And if you want to connect with me, um, it is the JCDB on all socials, um, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, on LinkedIn, it is Jason Christian Brown. And my email is lifeblessingsforjason at gmail.com. It was my absolute pleasure being here with you today. I hope I did not bore you. I hope I was not too long. And I hope you did take away something from the session from short careers, new careers, emerging careers. The fact that you are great, you can do all that you put your mind to. Once again, thank you so much for having me this afternoon, this evening. It was my pleasure being here to share with you. Bless everybody. Ah. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> hey, hey, Jason, remember it again, see what you doing now. Because me not hear you mention one of the emerging career parts, you know. Being a moderator, come on, listen. <laughs> me, me never done a good job. Me not understand. You are, you are amazing. You are amazing. <laughs> okay. Amazing. Okay. 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 My friends and my colleagues, if you like me, I say up in the chat, you know. Come in. Me not have so bad, don't it? So true to ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> So Jason, you have spoken about a lot of side hustle, but yeah, if you need me for moderator program for your my side hustle, yes. I have you, I have you, I have you, I have you. Is that serious thing, not it, Jason? Oh my goodness. Very serious, yeah. very, very serious. Okay, it is, it is, it is. So all my colleagues have a lot of teachers there. You are such good co um, moderators and speakers. Use up your talent because right now, if you need me, I'm available. All right, if you check Jason, you can get through to me. <laughs> awesome. awesome. Jason, it was an amazing, amazing, and, and by virtue of the responses from our participants, we know you did an excellent job. And so this afternoon, parents, if you're here and you know the strengths of your children, encourage them. They spend so much time on the phone, pinging and banging. Let them use it to make some money to help with their university. <laughs> All right. Yes, sir. But we have a prize. Don't go just yet. We have some prizes still left for you. And I'm going to be calling on one of my um, team members to come. I just want to big up my technical team this afternoon. We have had several of our team here with us. Um, a lot of Miss D, Khalil, Sara from our technical department assisting us. And it has just been amazing, etc. All right. So one of our team members are going to be coming on in short order to offer some more prizes before you go. You have been so wonderful and special tonight that we still have, we have something more. We have some leftover prizes that we don't want to go back with and we want to give them to you. Oh, you're still a winner. Um, raised hand. We have, okay, we have Prini. Prini, just raise our hand. Prini, you raise your hand just now. But just before I, I acknowledge my, my virtual principal for one academy, me i wanna win something absolutely who that um shamaria you wanna win something no problem we're gonna make sure you win something this afternoon so my colleagues um you have heard it. Um, there are so many opportunities. There are so many ways of creating income and wealth. And you know, a lot of my colleagues, I know you can be a quail. Uh, by the way, by the way, Jason, we need a cheesecake, sir. I'm disappointed. I got you. All right, no. I got you. Right. We're delivering on Friday. We're <laughs> delivering on Friday. Okay, okay. All right, colleagues, a lot of you can bake. You know, a lot of you have so many different skills. We have to become bold with our talents and we have to use them. We have to utilize them to help us to gain extra resources and income. All right. So 
teachers, come on. We are responsible for every single career. We can't continue this way. We can't leave some on. Come on. We have to put myself out there. So right now, may I put myself out there and I'm moderating, you know. <laughs> All right, so remember, all right, so there it is for parents, there it is um, for students, students, you can now use the opportunities that you're learning about, I need a cake. I need a cake for club. All right. We have somebody asking for a cake there. All right. So we have somebody who can bake. Come on, take the order right now. Take the order right now. All right. Cool. All right. So remember your network spaces. Make sure you enter them, students. We talk about LinkedIn. Enter the networking spaces so you can begin to build yourself and build your career. So um, I see my principal hand is up again. So I'm going to acknowledge her now and have her just take the floor for a moment. Just wait, we're coming up with the questions for your prizes. All right, hold on a minute. Go ahead, bring me. Just two small points, Kate. I realized that we had a lot of teachers online. So I was sharing a link in the chat. So if we have teachers that are interested in extending your career to be online tutors, you can go ahead and fill out the form and it will come to me and we will get in contact with you. And for those oh, students who are online okay. that need help to do your own SBA. That's a service that we offer as well. So you can book a private tutoring session with us and we will help you to do your own SBA. <laughs> so that's and it. Don't we, have some, don't we have some workshops coming up? Yes, we do. In okay. April, we have some CSEC workshops coming up. Okay. So, so oh. Yes. All right. Awesome. So you can, you, they'll hear more about that. All right. Thank you. At this time, I'm going to hand over to one of our, our technical um, personnel, um, Sarah, who is going to now tell you how you can claim your prizes. Take it away. Listen, okay. pin, unpin, yes, no. <laughs> okay, everyone. Um, thank you so much for that, Kate. You are Jason, welcome. I'm waiting for my cake. I'm a cake lover. I'm a diehard cake lover. So I'm waiting for that. Um, everyone, I would like for you guys to join our Telegram community. It is in the chat. Kalili can post it once again. And we will be posting a question. And it's in line with Jason's presentation. And you will be able to win a really nice prize. So please join our Telegram community and you'll see Khalil post the question and the first person to answer will win a prize. All right. Thank you so much, Kate. And Jason, I want my cake. <laughs> you are welcome. At this time, we want to find out if you have any questions for our presenter, you may now go right ahead. Any questions? I'm going to ask our, our, direct, our team to just look out for those questions, please. And let's have them for Jason to respond. Any questions? So Jason, I, I have an interest in project management as well. You know, I would like to upscale. Um, did you say where we could access that at a reasonable and short term? Is it, I heard something about Google and Corsona or something to that effect. Can you just give us two seconds on that quickly? While we yeah, check man. To so, see if, there, if there are any other questions. So let me just share the part where I have the links to the courses that are free because I did upskilling as well. I, I believe in lifelong learning. Yes. So I always try to upskill myself. So I have done a few um, LinkedIn courses and project management um, accredited by the Project Management Institute. So again, these are the links here, right here. So, so the all courses of, are actually on LinkedIn itself, Jason? Yes, LinkedIn oh, Learning. I didn't know that. Yeah. See, on LinkedIn, you have a course called LinkedIn Learning, so which for any career you can think of. You yeah. have video courses with short quizzes and you're offered a certificate that you can actually post and use on your resume at the same time to build your experiences. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All so right. all of these places here offer courses in um, project management, all of them. 
Okay, fantastic. All righty. Any other questions at this point? We are just taking a couple more uh, while we get persons on the Telegram group to collect their prizes. We we have we still have about two more prizes left. Um, Sarah, do you have anything more? Or yeah, thanks, Jason. Any questions? I. Uh, but how useful is the mini course in PM? That's a question from FR um, to, to you, Jason. But how useful is a mini course in, in PM? Yeah. Everything aids, everything aids, everything aids. So once you learn and then you are able to answer the questions posed to you in your interviews, in your in your um sessions for jobs, once you can once you can produce your knowledge of it mm -hmm. aids. It's awesome. it really aids. And information is very good. Awesome. If you're if if you're looking for more um extensive short courses like probably nine months, 12 months, you can look at the project management institute. You can try UA Open Campus. You can try UCC. All these colleges, they have short courses in project management that you can enroll in. Okay. All right, somebody no, said- we can, Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry, complete. Complete your response. Yes, I'm seeing Darren asking if these courses could suffice for a degree. No, I don't think nothing can really suffice for a degree of experience. Mm. No, but what the, it, it adds um, leverage. Mm -hmm. to your resumes so it makes you a lot more attractive because companies love to see persons who are willing to develop themselves beyond the trainings that the job offers so lifelong learners and proof of lifelong learning is a good way to show that you are constantly evolving in your career as time changes as well all right we're going to take two more somebody said they're trying to complete their G gss course but uh, they have been very busy and they're here it's gonna close come this march any truth to that, Jason? So the last week is next week for the persons who would have already finished the course. All certificates will be assigned by NCT Vet in April. So if you're finished, that is good. So once the program officially wraps, they're going to be doing all certificate awarding at the same time. So if you're if you have not finished your course online, mm -hmm. this is your chance to do so before March. 31st. It is still on another portal for you to complete. Oh, that's that's a couple days time, Jason. All yes. right. But I mean, Charmelia, if you can get that, that would be good. If you can um actually meet the deadline, that would be good. And somebody just asking, where can I go to do online training or call center jobs? So the global services sector, mm -hmm. aside from our program that ends next week they are the ones who are working directly in that sector so that's gssjamaica.com you go to gssjamaica.com you enroll in their career framework you will also see the training options there and from there once you're trained they will present to you a pool of recruits that they will help you to find a job at a call center okay so i hope that answers the question somebody spoke about their certification I have not receive it but i think that was responded to it will be issued in april and so if you if you wait until that time and it's not done then you have jason's information he he has he works uh, intimately with the program and i'm sure he will be able to make some contact on your behalf and once and we, we have we have your email addresses so just stay stay tuned to your email address for updates in regards to okay. gss certification Fantastic. Fantastic. Yes. So if you have not yet uh, um, filled in the Google form, please do so, as well as the Zoho survey. It's very short and for our teachers online, as well as the students, um, it is to give you certifications of attendance and also our parents. So if you'd like to ensure that you receive a search, please ensure that you fill in the Google forms. And also we're asking that you fill in the Zoho very short survey just to tell us how you enjoyed this afternoon all right so we do have two more gifts to give away and um, i'm just checking with sarah my gift giver do you have any other questions that you'd like to ask or before we wrap up the show this afternoon it has been a fantastic evening and we are so grateful that you decided to spend some of your saturday afternoon with us we are so grateful it has been a blessing and we appreciate you. So let me see here if my 
um, team member, Sarah. You have anything else up your sleeve, Sarah? Come All on, right. come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kids. So I want, I want two people to at least two wise careers are important. I'm sure Jason touch on touch on it. To to what? Why? Why is a, having a career important? Oh, okay. And you'd like them to say it in the chat here? In the chat. All right, cool. So for two prizes, say why careers are important. That's easy. Easy thing to say. <laughs> Teachers, you cannot enter. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. And for a sense of purpose, cities provide global global to work toward each day and income to support your financial needs. It can help you build skills and experience that will last through your careers, even if you change career later in life. Hey, Tevan, you come right out, man. You couldn't type anyway. I'm a <laughs> Tevan, did Tevan get that right, Jason? He got it too right. That's a problem. Oh, oh my God. You know, so I think him screenshot it. <laughs> I think him screenshot it. But you're smart. And that's what we like about you. You're smart. So we're going to give you a prize. So stay tuned and we will collect your data. All right. Is there one other? Is there one other? Or which, it was two persons? or Yeah, two. Two persons. All right. Let's have them before we close the show this afternoon final final call final uh, Rachel just entering the the room all right so she going to hear the amen <laughs> the benediction is going to be pronounced Rachel we are happy you met you're here for that it's also a very important part of the meeting so not to worry all right we do have this recorded and I'm sure we'll have it on YouTube for you if you'd like to see it you came in and you need to view what happened this afternoon we're going to be having this on YouTube so you can get the link I'm sure one of our technical team members will post it in the chat so you can click on it and you can you know view it and of course be sure to like <laughs> and the share thank you all right do we have our final answer there in the chat sarah chun lee. Chun -Lee. Chun lee so there we go and that's a wrap ladies and gentlemen I want to thank you this afternoon for being with us it has been an amazing evening and we truly trust that you learned yeah this is jason brown educational at educational manager extraordinaire and he did a fantastic job and we're so grateful to have him on board the one-on-one -on -one family so we do hope you had a good evening and we're saying thank you thank you so much